Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we have our monthly instalment of What's New in Luxury Fashion where I talk to you about luxury fashion news, hot collabs, things you need to know about, products that I predict will be hot, all of the above. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna change it up today. Usually I start off with fashion news today. I'm gonna to start off with new and noteworthy, Burberry and Supreme. Now, I reported this, I think even in the last installment of this or the one before, this dropped on the 10th of March and it was very kind of like Supreme-y. We saw a lot of puffer jackets, shirt shorts, sets, t-shirts as expected, bucket hats, things like that. Very streetwear kind of inspired, though we did have a couple of collaboration sort of trench-esque coats. Not quite a trench, but not not a trench. Are you with me? Some of this dropped online, some dropped in Burberry stores, some dropped in Supreme stores, so it was a little bit... You couldn't go ev to one place for everything, if that makes sense. Okay, collaboration number two. Manolo, Blahnik and Birkenstock. Okay, so basically the much beloved shoe designer Manolo Blahnik took two of Birkenstock's classic shoe styles. We've got the Arizona and the Boston. The Boston is the closed toe one. These came in three colours. So there was a blue velvet, sort of a raspberry velvet, and a black leather. Now the Arizona, you've then got these crystal buckles on the side, and then you've got a single crystal buckle with the Boston. Here's the thing. Is this the most sort of chic, fabulous, I throw that word around, but I'm gonna throw it around again, daddish sandal that we've seen. Yes, I will give it, I will give it its place there. And Birkenstocks have really risen in popularity with um, the pandemic and things like that for some reason. I mean, it was like one of the hottest items in 2020 to buy. It was, I know, I can't believe it either. But here we are. Birkenstocks are also no stranger to collaborations. They've done collaborations with Valentino previously and a number of other high fashion brands. So this is just one more to add to their roster. These sold out very, very quickly. I'm not the biggest fan, but I'm not the target customer. Next collab, this was a bit of a random one and two brands that I really did not think would be in the same room together. You've got Off-White and Churches. Churches is like a very sort of traditional um brogue company as old-fashioned as they come you know like has a manor house in suffolk you know that kind of thing and off-white is like street wary very cool very pushing the envelope which is actually why i quite liked this collaboration they did two brogues one for men one for women pretty much exactly the same and the off-white twist that you have here is that it says special events down the side and then the laces also say laces I quite liked it. I thought it was cool. I really liked how unexpected it was. These, some sizes still seem to be available, so be fast. These were also designed by Virgil while he was still with us. There's going to be a season two. I, I like to call them seasons, okay, like their TV shows. Well, the rumour is there's going to be a season two of Louis Vuitton and Supreme. Now, if we cast our minds back, this was one of the, without a doubt, the most successful luxury collaborations like of all time this was insane interesting to see that there have been some natterings around nothing has been confirmed yet but there does seem to be enough natterings for us to maybe get our pockets ready i did see a date floating around of the 30th of june i don't know if we should take this seriously or not but i need to let you know of my internet sleuthing there seem to also be predictions of the cities that the pop-ups will be in. If we remember, the Louis Vuitton Supreme was not online at all. It was only available in certain cities in pop-ups. So that made it even more ridiculous to get a hold of, you know? So we've got Beijing, LA, London, Miami, Paris, Seoul, Sydney, and Tokyo. Will they be doing the same thing with this one with only releasing in cities if this does go ahead? Let's see, but that might be something to look forward to. The next piece of collaboration news is Bulgari or Bulgari and Casablanca. So Bulgari, as we know, very famous fine jewelry house, but also definitely, I mean, like they've been doing bags for a while, but really in more recent years, they've been doing loads of collaborations with brands like Ambush, Mary Catranzu, that top handle puffer bag, loved it, um, Alexander Wang. But their most recent collab is with Casablanca. Now Casablanca, 
Anchor is a French brand and they kind of do this sort of luxe resort where I've said this before the vibes give me like 80s country club so we have notice of this one they're doing two drops one on the 20th of April and one on the 20th of May the 20th of April is going to be the Apre Tennis we've got four bag designs here they're going to be doing the tote they're going to be doing the little like vanity case the Serpenti Forever and like a little phone holder case kind of thing all of that is inspired by tennis give me all of it okay then on the 20th of may you've got the mosaic collection three bags here the serpenti forever the phone case and the tote again i really love this collection i think it's fun i think it's interesting it looks great you can see the kind of influence from both brands here i love it next collaboration is a bit of a weird one this is telfar's mystery collab telfar announced that they are doing a collaboration but haven't told us which brand they're doing it with however they are still available for pre-order they all they've released are sort of semi-pixelated images of the bags so we know that there's going to be a small medium and a large of their signature shopping bag in a black technical nylon and then they're also releasing their new circle bag also in the technical black nylon and since filming this it has been announced that yes it is with east pack and they're doing these sort of hybrid shopping bags slash backpacks i think they look pretty cool the large and the medium launched on the 31st of march the small size will launch on the 1st of april and then the circle bag which is new will launch on the 8th okay moving on to luxury fashion news item number one prod reports strong growth in Q1 of 2022. Definitely been one of the hottest brands over the last year or two. I think people are really attracted to how kind of minimalist their designs are, but it's still a bit logo-y because I think to a certain extent we're all a bit of a sucker for a logo. You know, let's not lie, don't lie to yourself. But they basically reported a strong start to 2022 and their 2021 sales actually were above their pre-pandemic sales everybody seems to be loving them and they don't seem to be slowing down from you know kind of what i've seen next up olivier roosting i don't know if i ever pronounced his last name right is going to be the next designer to take over jean-paul gautier couture so basically jean-paul gautier left his couture line in 2020 and since then each kind of couture season they've been doing collaboration with different designers the last one was glenn martin's that just recently showed now in july for the next couture fashion week we're going to be seeing olivier do his take on jpg couture now what's particularly interesting is that balmain did their like couture line in 2020 it just wasn't giving what it was meant to give so i'm interesting to see what olivier does with jpg i think it will be fun speaking of couture item number three matthew williams will be showing Givenchy couture in july as well so let's see what he brings to the table he's definitely been giving us a very kind of is gothic yeah kind of like gothic -y, edgy vibe to Givenchy that we haven't seen in a while so let's see what his couture brings for all of my Miami subscribers the Fendi Cafe is in town this is in the Miami Design District and it is open now until the 1st of May they've not given it much time it's basically all uh, designed in line with the current Fendi Spring Summer 2022 collection which is in collaboration with the late illustrator Antonio Lopez so if you live in Miami or if you're planning on visiting within that time span, have a go, have your little, take your little Instagram picture of your Fendi FF cappuccino and maybe have a panini. Fendi did a pop-up in Harrods like a couple of years ago. The food offerings were, were not the one, but definitely do get a coffee. <laughs> Hot new luxury items that you need to know about. So the first one is a bit of a reissue because Balenciaga have brought back motorcycle bag city bag whatever you want to call it um we know this bag very well it was discontinued i think it was last year anyway they have reissued it under the new name neo kagol i'm not entirely sure how to feel about this because i think i prefer the old version and usually with reissues i get the kind of reissued vibe i like the little things that they've tweaked to take it into something that's a little bit more like trendy or of the now or whatever and it's no surprise that they have done re a reissued style because so many brands are doing this now but basically there is now a heart mirror dangling off it and a pouch aside from that there's little else 
design wise that's changed however this is now going to be available in three sizes you've got an extra small a small and one that doesn't have a size it's just like a regular and of course a slew of different colors i fully predict this to be as popular as its predecessor was in the 2000s Balenciaga is really killing it with the bags recently with how popular they are. Everybody's loving the Kegel bag. Everybody's loving the Hourglass bag. I don't expect this to be any different. Next up, Hermes showed us some new bags on the runway, didn't they? Okay, so there are two in particular that I think got people excited. The first one was a kind of crossbody, little bit larger version of the Kelly Dance. Dance? Dance? <laughs> I don't know if I should be northern with my pronunciation of that. But it was one crossbody. They were doing a an RTF. A right titty flex. The other one, this is the one that's really been doing the rounds on social media, is this kind of Kelly, I believe it's called the Desordee, and it's basically a Kelly that looks a bit ski whiff. That's the only way to describe it. Now, I also found out that it's not just the Kelly that's gotten this sort of, what's my hair doing? It's not just the Kelly that's got this sort of remixed, shall we say, appearance. They're also doing it in the Birkin and the Bolly Day. And if you are lucky enough to be offered this, good for you. The last item that I want to talk to you about is off the back of the Manolo Birkenstock collab. If you like that vibe but you maybe weren't able to get your hands on it, they're not going to do a drop to whatever, may I suggest the Roger Vivier Trekkie sandal or the Slay Viv. These are very similar vibes. Roger Vivier has been doing this sort of crystal buckle for, I mean, it's like a signature part of the brand and everything. I also kind of think that we're going to be seeing more and more of Roger Vivier towards the end of the year. A lot of people were talking about it during fashion weeks but they have a few styles that again are kind of down this dad sandal route but with a crystal twist i don't know i thought that it might be up some of your alleys another fabulous new season moment are the sequined fendi bags okay so you've got the baguette 1997 so that is this one it doesn't have the extra straps of the baguette it's just a shoulder bag and she's fabulous and she is sequined and of course they have some fabulous color combinations are you seeing the green then they've done this in the mini version in three colors they've done this in the fendi first in two colors they've or in the smaller size and they also have a gold excess peekaboo um you need to know that these exist let me know what you thought of today's video and what we discussed i'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it have an amazing morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father if you've enjoyed it tell your friends if you haven't keep your mouth shut i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye guys